Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be repairing my solar water heater that I got on the roof of my house. First I'll show you this and uh, before I show you about the repair. Uh, this right here is PVC pipe and it's the big pipe and that holds 40 gallons of water. 40 gallons of hot water is a lot of water. And uh, I got, this is what I use, uh, uh, I don't know what you call that, but that's what I use to cover it with. I got the blanket here, to, because this has been like this about a week, and I kind of been keeping it covered up, uh, because I hadn't been keeping it full of water. I'm going to show you that in a second. But I put lattice and screen wire over it in the summertime because it gets I got a video where it gets 185 degrees without the lattice on it and when you put the lattice on it it gets it down to about 165 I think but see that's a lot of hot water and I might have said this this box is insulated but let me show you the crack right here can you see that crack right there I don't know how this thing done it but it shifted over like an inch and it finally just shifted over so much that it broke and what the deal is is uh when you fill this up and it gets hot you know that's what this is is an overflow and it also lets the water flow out fast too uh, like when you cut cut it on inside the house but as as this heats up during the day, the you know hot water expands, and it starts running out here and running into the box. And we, I mean, you don't want it running into your box, but it's going down there to where the the pipe goes down inside the house, and it's running down the pipe, you know, trickling down, and you just can't have that. But anyway, I'm fitting to repair that right there. And I, I got a plastic hose that I'm going to put on this because you know how the sun extracts and expands stuff. And that's what's happened here. But you look right here. This, this right here, it's moved over. That amount right there. Because this was actually glued to this. Not on purpose, but just on accident. The first thing I've done is I cut the metal away from this. this uh, you probably can't hardly tell it, but uh, these metal straps holding this down, I don't see how it moved. But just like it's sitting, I'm going to clean it up some. I'm going to give the glue something to stick to. I wiped that off with some water. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to show you this. Look at the overflow pipe coming out. Look how much it's bent. That's how much that thing moved. That's the reason it broke. And I got electricity up here, y'all. I figured out you could put a light bulb in that box, and it would keep that box hot all night long. And it stays hot all night long in the summer anyway. And then in the wintertime, it stays hot till about 9 o'clock. You know, in the wintertime when it's cold. And then it's over with until the next day. But it's only just me and my wife. And we can work around, you know, the, the hot water. And we still got our regular water heater. You know, like for emergencies, like, or something like that, you know. I got to thinking about it. And I think I might better go ahead and cut this before I glue it. Man, did you see that? Did you hear that pressure? This is what I bought to go over it. I'm going to cut me a piece of that. I 
put me some epoxy in a little cup right here. You see that I made me a trough around this? A dam, I reckon. I'm gonna mix this up and pour it in there. It's pretty warm today. It won't take long for this to, to uh, cure. And I'm expecting to have to put more coats than what I'm doing, you know? See them running out there. I'm gonna put this blanket here to kind of help hold that. I use this stuff right here all the time for one thing or another, but I'm somebody that's always doing something. And you know, y'all know the reason I first made this thing? The electric company made me mad. And I kind of started thinking, you know, I mean, they just got my goat, man. And I kind of started thinking about it, about everything. And I done more than just make this. I cut my my light bill in half. They wish they hadn't never, the meter man smarted off at me. And when he done that, it's just about too wet to plow, boy. He had to take off running. Cause I went at him. He said the hell with that truck. He left it in the driveway and left running up the road. <laughs> Hey, I was mad in there. Just to kind of let you know, the the meter man had said something to me about paying a light bill. And I told him that I thought she had paid it. You know, my wife. And since I said I thought, he assumed that meant I was lying. And uh, that just didn't go, boy. And just to finish up on that, that meter man don't come out here no more. They they started seeing somebody else. <laughs> hey y'all, I've got I've run me a strap. I'm gonna stop this thing from moving. And when I first made this thing, you know, I was making it like a like a tank, man. You know, like uh, I wanna have the best hot water that you can possibly have. And it gets too hot. It gets too hot. And I ain't joking about that. Now like, when I first made this thing, I would paint that right there. But man, it just don't matter, you know? It already gets too hot. If it gets so hot that, that you have to put that lattice and stuff on there, it's getting too hot. I got this thing finished. It's starting to get dark. Y'all, I come up here and done this, like this is my third trip up here. And I let that glue set up, Miss. You see there, I, come, I poured another layer on top of that. And y'all know that when this thing has got a leak inside the box like that, it'll steam up the the, the glass, which ain't glass, it's poly something. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all a little clip of that if I can find one. And let you see, like, uh, a little clip I got. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time. This is my overflow to my solar hot water collector. Now, I've got the water cut on just a little bit uh, making this water come out because that's what this is, is an overflow because, you know, hot water expands. But here's the temperature, and I'm going to show you the part that you ain't going to believe. I had put lattice on it because of this getting so hot. And not only did I put lattice, I've got screen wire on it too uh, to shade this thing some. Now... I'm going to show you the temperature tomorrow with this right here took off. I got the lattice and the screen wire off of it. I am back flushing it like as if I was filling it up. 
And I do have a video, uh, a full length video of this thing. Here's what it is today without the lattice on it. 185.7. 